Okay. Hi, welcome. This is Noah's Ark Nursery. I am Karina. I am the mommy. Welcome. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I'd like to thank all you are watching. I'd like to thank my subscribers. And I'd like to start out by thanking Miss Becca from Becca's Happy Place. Thank you, my sweet Becca. I am using my new tripod right now. As you can see, um, just to let you know, yesterday I got a surprise package from Becca at Becca's Happy Place, and it's a new tripod for my iPad. It is so easy to use. We were just setting it up, and I'm going to do something I never get a chance to do. I am changing not one baby today, but two. I get to change two babies on camera today, guys. Yay! Because I never get to do that with the iPad. Um, since I started using the iPad, it's been really hard because I haven't had a tripod and Becca got me one. So thank you, Becca. And so, welcome, guys. Um, thank you for joining us today. Um, for on Wednesdays, we we are pink, hosted by Shira at Reborn Living Dolls. Thank you, Shira, for this. This is probably, guys, one of my favorite tags because it's the color pink. And if you guys haven't figured out yet, I love pink. Um, I don't have a lot of pink in my wardrobe, but the girls have tons of pink in their wardrobe. So I am going to change two of them into something pink in a little while. Um, but first, okay, the first thing I want to do is show you guys what we're going to be doing in the new year. If you guys want to do this in the new year, I would love to do this. This is my old Bible. My old Bible is an extreme word Bible, as you can see. And as you can see, it's got footprints on the front. I love this Bible cover, by the way, guys. It says, when you saw only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. I love that poem. Um, because he always carries us through the tough times. He really does. Um, whether we see it or not. Because we don't see it but he's there um, but we see him working you eventually know that he's working but this Bible has and I know this is like just part of it because well anyway but it has little devotionals like this that I'm thinking of doing like with you guys I don't ever get to do these devotionals anymore because of the fact that first of all I can barely see them second of all because I can read with this with this thing, I can read. It'll magnify it to the point where I can read it for you guys. Um, the devotionals and the verses. But then, um, you know, I never get to do these anymore because I do my own devotional things. Um, so I'm thinking of in the new year doing this. So if you guys want me to do this instead of out of the Growing With Purpose book, would you please let me know which ones you want to want to hear. Um, which ones you want me to do? These are really cool devotionals. I used to do these all the time, but then I got into my devotional books, which were like really cool. Anyway, um, I do some really cool devotional books, but today I'm going to do a devotion of my growing with purpose. And this is such a good devotional and so timely, so timely for me today. Um, it's called Truth. I bring joy to God. Okay, guys, sorry, I have got to use this, guys, because I just can't see right. Truth, I bring joy to God. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do, and it gave him great pleasure. Ephesians 1, 5, the New Living Translation. In faith, I know this to be true. God is, God is in love with me, and when he thinks of me, it brings him joy. It was his good pleasure to create me, and he created me so he could love me and his glory could shine through me. He chose me in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight, Ephesians 1.4. His love for me is continuous so that I can say with confidence and joy when I awake, I am still with you, Psalm 139.18. By his spirit, I can live a life worthy of the Lord, and I am able to please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God, Colossians 1, 10. Um, 
that that it's just you know God loves us he adopted us into his family and for his purpose and it's amazing that he created us guys and I just you know the fact of the matter is is that we please him no matter what we do um, I put a lot of pressure on myself when doing this um, because I know I'm doing this for the Lord and I just want to make him happy with me um, ever since my near-death experience ever since I was yeah near-death experience um, I've been just I just you know I want to please God you know my life's all about what the Lord wants and I just you know I just want to please him and I know that you know without faith I can't please him but I know that he loves me and that he's pleased with me um you know I'm kind of blaming myself for what happened yesterday you know it's like I've got to blame myself for that but yet it's not my fault you see God keeps telling me I was blameless in that situation I'm going to explain that situation to you guys while I'm changing the babies have a little discussion about my DID um, first thing is is I'm going to put Tammy in in this this is a Carter's newborn or just for one, just one you by Carter sorry newborn pink sleeper it's pink guys and look it's got all those like little it's got elephants and giraffes and oh boy it's got kangaroos and so this is going on Stephanie Jean so I'm going to put I am not putting anything in their hair guys because it is sleepers and they don't sleep with things in their hair so I'm going to take Stephanie Jean I'm going to put her here and then I'm going to move the camera so you guys can see me changing her I can do this now guys look at this that way you guys can see Stephanie Jean oh boy okay I don't know if you guys can see Stephanie Jean or not um, there it just happened to get down sorry guys we're having I'm still getting used to this tripod um, I'm still getting used to the tripod guys and um, and how I can do this now you can see me changing Miss Stephanie Jean um there now you can really see her guys okay Stephanie Jean is my cuddle baby she really is but anyway I gotta change her diaper later I just won't do it now because you now I'm doing it on YouTube I don't want to do it on YouTube but this is Miss Stephanie Jean she is my Lee Middleton 19 she's a vintage doll she's 1994 and this was the one I got at the at the thrift store guys and I named her after my husband Stephen and my mother-in-law Jean um, two very special people in my life and so I just two very special people I thank God for but anyway yesterday to yesterday yesterday I had told you guys I had a problem and it really made it so that my altars came out I do believe that first it was mama um, I don't know why mama came out before she sent Sally out Sally is my protector mama just wanted to try to control the situation I think before Sally came out um, to let the to let this woman know that she was in charge this was a manager of a fast food restaurant here in town there was a misunderstanding I thought somebody's food was getting cold and I had said something that somebody's food was sitting there getting cold and they might want to get it out to the car because it was in a to-go bag. And the manager that was carrying it out, of course, took a cell phone call. You know, they're not supposed to have their cell phones out, but, you know, they're managers, so it's okay, I guess. Um, but, you know, then the manager who, who took, who was taking the cell phone call, she yelled at me. And... I was talking to my husband Steve you know we were sitting there talking and she started screaming at me 
she started yelling at me. You know, that's my personal business. I did it. You know, the fact of the matter is, is that your personal business is on company time. Um, but then, you know, the, um, the, the, um, the other manager on duty, and she used to be at the one close to our house. We didn't go to the one close to our house. I wish now we would have. Um, but she came out. She just came out and started railing on me. She came out and started screaming at me. I mean screaming at me. To the point where it was very abusive. And, um, you know, we wonder why Mama came out. Well, Mama was coming out to protect me. Oh my goodness, look at that. Now, I am going to brush Stephanie Jean's hair for you guys. Sorry. I'm not used to having a tripod that I can move around either. Um, I don't want to keep moving it around either because I know you guys get tired of that. But, oh man, this is so nice. But anyway, Mama came out. And I always have, I always have a time of it when Mama comes out because I know how she is. And she's not a very nice person. Um, then I'm going to give her poppin', guys, because I have poppin' out here for her today. Um, and we're going to put Stephanie Jean over here. And then I'll cur get Tammy Ann, because I have Tammy Ann, too. She is my, of course, Authentic Reborn that I got from Jenny at, well, from, from, um, from Julie and Jenny. Julie over at the Country Cottage. Um, and I'm going to put on this Carter's Newborn Sleeper with pink elephants. It's got elephants all over it, guys. I figure this is really, these are both, like this fits Hannah, but it's tight. This does not fit Hannah. So, I figure it will fit Tammy Ann perfectly. And it is We Wear Pink. So, I'm going to change my little Tammy Ann here. Um, okay, Tammy Ann, can I have your... I know you're tired. She's had some big couple of days, too. But anyway, Mama came out. And then Sally came out. Well, it was a big to-do, and we got kicked out. Um, you know, all over a misunderstanding. And she didn't even bother to be rational. She just came out, and in the middle of the... the the dining room just started yelling at me. Guys, I called the corporate office and I have yet to hear from anybody. Um, today. I am assuming that they really don't care. Places like that really do not care. Um, what they do to customers. And it's sad. So today for lunch, my husband made it up to me. And we went to our favorite pizza place. We went to John's. Oh, it was so good. But... You know, guys, I have DID, and sometimes I'm going to be triggered to the point where, you know, I am going to, I mean, somebody is going to trigger me. And I had a really hard day yesterday thinking, you know, I thought I was over this. I thought I could control them better, but obviously I can't. I can't control them. They are still... They are still not they're they're very much in control, but they're still they're still there. And I think Mama came out just to show that she she was trying to control the situation so Sally didn't come out. Because when this manager started yelling and screaming at me, I mean she was yelling and screaming. I mean, you don't do that to a customer. It's all over a misunderstanding and then you're out there screaming at a customer. And it just it's a little bit big on Tammy Ann. You know, it just you know, it's almost like, you know, they wanted to embarrass me or something. But she kicked us out. She would not let us have our lunch, although she had to. I mean, personally, if I were the, the owner, I'd be on the phone with the customer the next day or right away. And I'd say, I'm sorry that happened to you. We're going to correct the problem. Um, obviously, the owner does not care. I got to, you know, because if the owner cared... They would have been on the phone with me today or even yesterday after it happened and they would have said something. You know, places like that just do not care. They just do not have 
have it in them, I guess, to care. Owners from pl for places like that, it's just about money because I haven't heard it from the owner. You know, it's just about money and it's just about what what they can get out of it. And it just... But... There's Tammy Ann, guys. I'm going to brush Tammy Ann's hair out really quick for you guys. I have a smaller thing I usually use for her, but I brought this out instead. Um... But anyhow, Mama came out. So, you know, and so did Sally. So I have to admit that it was not an easy day for me yesterday. And, you know, the way I see it is, and this is how I see it. I have extra people that live inside me. And if you're going to do something that's going to trigger them, then, you know what? You deserve to meet them. And that, everybody, is their sleepers. They're ready for bed, guys. Look at that. Look at how ready for bed they are. Isn't that nice? Oh, Miss Becca, this was so such a nice present. Such a nice surprise for me to get this tripod. Um, and it really helped cheer me up after a day like I had yesterday. Um, but... You know, don't remember, don't forget, guys, leave in the comments whether you want me to do the devotionals out of the Extreme Word book next year, starting January 1st, because I will. Um, I can go through that in a year. And then Mariah and I are going to, on Tuesdays, Toddler Tuesday, her and I are going to do something special once a week, a special devotional once a week that's got activities to it. It's like a mommy me activity. So we're going to do that. I'm going to do like kind of a, like a Sunday school type thing with Mariah on Tuesdays. Um, I know Sheila does hers on Sundays. I'm going to do mine like on Tuesdays, like a play school, a mommy me Christian play school um, thing so that you know, but I'm going to do it a devotional book, and I, there are other things I'm going to do with her, like a Noah's Ark book and things like that. Um, so it'll be different things, and it'll be different things throughout the week that I'll do with her anyway. Um, I always do. But oh man, this tripod is going to open up a whole new world for me. Becca, thank you. Oh, bless you, Miss Becca. I know Becca is still not feeling well, so we really need to pray for her, guys. Um, her husband is better, but she's not. And she had told me, because I know when I get sick, my blood sugar runs high. So just pray for her, guys. Um, and I do have an update on Sebastian. He is on a six-week antibiotic treatment. Um, I didn't get all the details because somebody called right in the middle of, of me watching the video the other day. And I still haven't gotten to watch all of it. But he is home. Um, he got a car for Christmas, guys. Stephanie and Gio got him a car. And so I thought that was cool. Um, they spent a quiet Christmas, she said. Which was good because he had just gotten home like it was essentially Christmas Eve when he got home. He didn't get home till about 11.30, 12 o'clock. Um, Friday, 11.30, 12 o'clock. Really New Year, New Year, Christmas Eve. Um, but... You know, just keep praying for him, please, guys. And keep praying for Miss Becca. Um, I know Patricia says she's feeling better, but pray for Patricia. Patricia Darling Dreams, too. She hasn't been feeling very well. Um, we got a whole slew of people we're praying for right now, don't we? But, you know, it's all good because God's hearing. You know, where two or three are gathered in his name, he is there. And we don't actually have to be in the same room. We don't have to be in the same place, the same town. You know, God can work from far away. So, I just want to show the girls one more time before I go. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I know I keep moving it around, but let's see if I can move it down here. Oh, yeah. Now you guys can really get a clear picture Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Thank you, Becca. Um, but this is hashtag we wear pink on Wednesdays. We wear pink 
by Shira at Reborn Living Dolls. So thank you again, Auntie Shira, for this great tag. Um, I hope that she was traveling when I was in that live on that live video of pennies. Um, and oh boy. I really know what oh it's lighthearted life and collectibles is her channel so I had to think about that for a minute I'm sorry Penny but um so anyway and I've got to go through clothes guys so just to tell you I'm gonna go through clothes and I may be using them for a giveaway at like 300 subscribers um, I may use them as a giveaway but I was also thinking of using something else which I'll explain more later on that one um, I was actually going to use one of my porcelain dolls which you know I don't really mess with my porcelain dolls that much they just sit there and so and I'm getting, I don't know when, i am kind of been trying to keep this a secret, but I don't know when, but I am getting a, and I don't know how many, but one of our, where we go for like my cinnamon and my other health food stuff, like my probiotics and stuff, well, my hair, um, they, he, he has a bunch of vintage dolls from his grandmother and his mother from like the 1930s that he's giving to me he's just giving them to me guys so I'm getting a bunch of vintage dolls um, so I might want to consider giving away one of my porcelain dolls um, as a giveaway but that'll be probably at 500 subscribers um, at 300 subscribers to either 250 or 300 I haven't decided yet which either yeah, 250 or 300. I might move it to 200. We'll see. I'll give away some of the girls' clothes that I'm going through now, and I'm just going to hold on to them and use them as a giveaway. Because um, I am sharing them with my mother, too. So we'll see. Mom hasn't gotten her doll yet. I haven't seen her because she's been sick. Um, but I'll see her eventually. So... Um, We'll see. But guys, just remember to keep Sebastian and Becca in your prayers. Um, God is still in the throne. He's still in control. I, I really believe that, you know, because when I stood up, I only remember standing up. I said something about my DID. I think Mama had come out to tell her that, look it, you don't want to. You don't want to go head to head with me. I am not the person you go head to head with. You never ever, guys. Here's here's the thing, and I always say this: you never ever ever confront the altar. Never. That is really a bad thing to do. Um, altars can get you in serious trouble. Um, I, you know, and when Sally came out, I think she came out to protect me. Um, I know she did actually, cause she's my protector. Um, so I just know that this woman started yelling at me. I mean, she's standing out there screaming at me. And I have yet to hear from the company about that. I have yet to hear from the, the the owner of the restaurant which I should have heard from the owner of the restaurant by yesterday afternoon I think what happened is is she intercepted it and got rid of it she was considered when she was down here our, our McDonald's closer one of the, she was considered the me manager nobody liked her not even the people that worked there um, but you know I guess if you're doing something wrong, she's okay as a manager. I don't know. But I do know that, well, that happened, it happened, you know. Um, this is about my DID.
This isn't about her ability to manage or her ability to be a nice person. This is about my DID and it's about me. Um, it, it should have never happened. But unfortunately, I have a mental illness, guys, which isn't always a good thing. Um, God did control it. Um, I think God took control of the situation. When I don't deserve it, God doesn't let me take it. And that's why Sally and Mama exist. Um, all God said to me is that these two people that did this to me yesterday, they're cursed because those who, he said, those who curse you shall be cursed. Um, I was feeling really down last night. I was still feeling down kind of yesterday afternoon. Um, and he just, he intercepted it. And he said, those who curse you shall be cursed. They were in the wrong. And now I'm going to make them pay. How? I don't know. I, I'm not questioning God. But I am going to say that it settled my altars down a lot. Today, Mabel was in there. Um, we went for pizza. I told you we went to John's for pizza. And it was good. But Mabel decided she wanted a soda, I think. Because I never, ever drink soda. And I only drink water. And so, but I love Coke Zero. And I used to be, like, addicted to it. So I'm sitting at the table. I go, I want a soda. You know, I was looking down at Mabel and I was going, I want a soda. You know, and I, I told my husband, I said, I want a soda. And he said, okay. And he got up after I took my meds with my water. He got up and got me a soda. But as you can see behind me, I have my water now. So that's a good thing. So anyhow, I will eventually get used to this tripod and how close to have it and stuff. So please bear with me. Um, and if you guys want to see that devotional, it me do the extreme word devotionals next year, let me know. It won't be, it'll be every day except for maybe Tuesday. Um, because Tuesday is Toddler Tuesday. And no matter what the toddler theme is, I will have her in. But I will also, I will, I will have Mariah in. But I can also use Mabel because Mabel's like a toddler too. She's 21 inches, but she's, her and Mariah are about the same, like, give or take a couple inches size. So I can use Mabel if I have to, too. Um, but Mariah and I are going to do the devotionals out of that book. Um, and I'll show it to you another day. Um, so, well, I'm going to end it here, guys, because it is, like, almost... I'm looking at the timer and it's 28 minutes, almost 29 minutes long. So I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. And just remember, God created us. He loves us just the way we are. You know, he's pleased with us. As long as we are his children, he adopted us. Jesus Christ died on the cross so that we could be God's children. And we don't have to do anything to do it. We just have to accept Christ as our Savior in our hearts. And that's when God adopts us as his child. And guys, he is the best and most loving father you'll ever want you'll ever need and he created us so he knows us so that is just so amazing so anyhow I'd like to thank you all for watching I hope you have a blessed and wonderful night since I'm uploading this late I know I'm uploading this late um, my husband work my husband's not working this week so the videos might be a little later 
I'm going to try to get it in tomorrow morning. Um, I was supposed to have counseling today, but because I think he's still sick. When my counselor gets sick, he really gets sick, so pray for him. Um, he really gets sick when he gets sick. And so I would like to thank you all for watching. Um, I would like to thank Miss Becca for this wonderful surprise gift she gave me. Again, this tripod. I don't know how I'm ever going to be able to repay her for this. She is just, oh my goodness, this was just a wonderful gift. Thank you, Miss Becca, again, for my tripod. I enjoyed being able to change the babies today. And you guys actually got to see it. I loved that. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. And I will see you all tomorrow. Um, I guess Yvonne's not having a having you on theme tomorrow. So it's a any day day. Anything day. So we'll do an anything day tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful night. Bye.